Good morning, all my wonderful YouTubers and guests. Zero Hyper Gaming here, bringing you all another reaction episode. Now, for this morning's reaction episode, I will be doing a reaction on J. Cho's um, song called "Mine Mine." Um, I think this song supposedly came out in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. And I think this, I think you know, it came out in 2011, but I've never heard of this song before. So someone actually had to recommend this song to me to actually come across with it. Like every time I looked up J. Chow's song on YouTube, you know, I always found Cute Girl or like a few other songs. I think Cyclone or something like that. But yeah, I always find those songs for some reason. So, so this one, um, my this song might have not gone around that much. But yeah, hopefully this will turn out great though. But let's go check this out. That's a nice tune. It starts starting off really well. Uh, I love any songs that have piano and piano notes inside there. This is a smooth song. Yeah, I like the sound, isn't it? It sounds nice and relaxing. I like the whole look of the music video too.
Matt. There you have it, folks. J. Chow, my mind. Uh, that that was a wonderful song. I love I love the way how the um the song started up. Like it had that what's that that like that subtle note and escalation with the with the with the whole piano. It's, that was great, man. I I know it's a lot of J. Chow songs. They're they're very um they have a good wide range of variety. Like the notes are never ever the same. The instruments he uses never never the same. The synthetics like. Even his singing style, it's never really the same in each song, which is something really unique. Um, something that, you know, that's normally not seen too often with many singers around the world, but that's uh, something to look at. It's really something to pay attention to, but that was a great work. Uh, but anyways, uh, this was my reaction for this morning. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for coming by and watching this uh, my reactions with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's you know it's a lot of fun doing this, and I also enjoy um, all you folks commenting, you know, and watching this with me. I uh, hope you guys can come back again sometime. Same with my subscribers and returning subscribers. You know, thank you. Also, um, by the way, can anyone tell me what where he filmed? I always I always like to know where he fi people music artists film their music videos at because it, it usually they. I never see them ever film in their own hometown. <laughs> it's always in another country or in another place. Or if there's someplace else, then it's just all green screen stuff. So yeah, I would like I would like to know though. It's, it'd be pretty amazed to find out how some of these music videos are made. Like sometimes you think it's elaborate and high budget, and you know, it comes to find out they're at an actual place that looks like that, and you know it's just something simple with minimal CGI effects and whatever whatnot. But anyways folks, uh, this concludes my reaction, yet again, <laughs> sorry about that. But I'd like to thank all of you for joining me. Have a wonderful, great day. Enjoy your, you know, for those who's off on the weekends or the Sundays, enjoy your weekends off. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Alright folks, have a one. take care. Mahalo. Peace.